perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Years. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah.
Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? Outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. What's your game, man? Keeping him alive. That's not bad. I like it. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for sure. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Looks sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. Is the train really a good idea with Duck like that? Maybe we should focus on one thing at a time. Yes. What can we do here? Get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going.
Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. We'll be fine. We've gone through just as much as anybody else. This one's gonna grow up quick. It already am. I don't doubt it, son. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Stop the train. Get your hands off me! I'm, I'm sorry. I just want to talk. We gotta stop this train because Cap needs you, Kenny. Duck doesn't have much time left. He'll be fine. Duck's just about gone back there, man. Don't feed me that bullshit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial! And you've given up! On Duck! On everyone! Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee! You're gonna listen. Or what? Calm down and- How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. And a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. 
Cheers. Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hun? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, it should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. Please write, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see him? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Get! Get! Gotcha! She could she, 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 she just... Oh, 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 fuck!
Chuck said. What Chuck say? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? Swear. Sorry. I took some sense into him. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? Say it to me, asshole. What you said to my girl. Excuse me, son. Tell the little girl she's gonna die. Wanna scare people, scare me. Fucker. Okie dokie. She's gonna die. Son of a bitch. How is that? How about I throw your sorry ass off this fucking train? Now we're both scared. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I'll tell you. As long as you don't toss me over the rail. I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were... You gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun, because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Be safe up here. You betcha. 